In this video, you're going to learn how to add self-service BI and dashboards to an Angular application with Reveal in a few simple steps. First, you'll learn how to install the Reveal SDK. Then, you'll create an Angular application. From there, you'll install all the scripts and necessary dependencies that are needed to load dashboards with Reveal. And then finally, we'll dynamically load a dashboard and you'll see it run in the browser. All this will take a couple simple steps and maybe a few minutes to complete. Let's get started. To download the Reveal SDK, go to revealbi.io, click the Download SDK button, and fill out the form to initiate the download. Once it's downloaded, you're going to have all of the necessary files on your hard drive to build both the server and the client SDK applications. You can build the client using React, Angular, Web Components, ASP.NET, or Java. It doesn't really matter. Even Windows Forms and WPF. On the server side, we have a Java SDK as well as a ASP.NET Core SDK, which you can deploy to any cloud server. Once the SDK is installed on your hard drive, you will have all the necessary files in C, Users, Public Documents, Infragistics, Reveal, and then there's an SDK folder. So if I just go to the SDK folder, what you'll see is we've got a sample application, we've got the WPF, the web files, and some other things to help you build out your apps. If I double click on web and I go to JS and I go to client, these are all of the JavaScript files with the language files that you would need to deploy this to the client. If you're not using any languages, just USEN, you can use the infragistics.reveal.js file in your app. Let's go ahead and create an Angular application. I have my command window open. Let's go to C colon backslash dev, and I'm going to do ng new reveal Angular client demo. And what this will do is create the default Angular application using the Angular CLI. So we'll let all of the dependencies install on the client. Now the application is created. Let's change to reveal dash angular dash client dash demo and let's open up Visual Studio Code. What we'll do first is we'll open up a new terminal and I want to show you one thing. I'm going to do command shift P. I'm going to be using code snippets in this demo. So I'm going to click my recently used snippets and I have reveal code snippets. And what you'll see here is all of the boilerplate code that you would normally otherwise have to type. These snippets are available on GitHub. The link is in the notes for the application. So the first thing I'm going to do here is just type in ng-serve dash o. And what this is going to do is install any extra dependencies and compile the application and run it. What that's going to do for us is give us a browser window that we can kind of see what's happening as we're modifying the code here in the application. So here is the boilerplate Angular application. Make this browser a little bit smaller. And let's go back to Visual Studio Code. So the first thing that I want to do is go to the Assets folder. And I'm going to create a new folder underneath Assets called Reveal. And I'm going to add that JavaScript file that we talked about earlier. So it's under C, Users, Public, Public Documents, Infragistics, Reveal, SDK, Web, JS, Client. These are all of those JavaScript files we saw earlier. I'm going to grab infragistics.reveal.js and I'm going to drag this right into this Reveal folder. So now I have the Reveal JavaScript file, which is what I need to light up this application. The second thing I'm going to do is modify index.html. There's a couple things I need to do here. The first thing is we have a few dependencies that we use. Uh, one of them is Quill.js. Quill.js allows you to have a editor for doing formulas and things like that on fields. So I'll add in the custom CSS for that. And then we also have a few JavaScript dependencies. So I'm going to insert the JavaScript dependency links and you'll see we have a dependency on jQuery, the Quill.js, the Day.js, which we use for some of the calendaring date manipulation, 
and then of course the reveal JavaScript file. That's all you need to do in terms of loading up any dependencies. So we can close index.html. Now let's go to the app and we're going to modify two files here, appcomponent.html and appcomponent.ts. So if I go to appcomponent.html, this is all the boilerplate that you're seeing here. We're going to delete all of that. So let's control A and delete. And what's going to happen on this page is it's just going to house the dashboard that we're going to tell reveal to get from the server and render in the browser on the client. So this is just a div and the dashboard will live inside this div called reveal view. Now let's go to appcomponent.ts. There's a few changes we need to make here. The first thing we need to tell the application is that we're using jQuery. So let the dollar sign selector work in this application. The second thing that we're going to do is we're going to implement after view init. And after view init is where the code is going to go that actually talks to the server and renders the dashboard. A couple other things here we want to insert the view child, which will tell reveal where to stick the dashboard. And you notice here we have some red squigglies because these objects were not defined in the import statement. So you can click on these guys and do a quick fix and say add view child to the existing import declaration because these are part of Angular core. Or you can simply go up here and type in what is missing. So element ref and view child are there. And then finally, we're going to use the final code snippet and we're going to add the code for the ng after view init. There's a few things I want to highlight here. The first thing, and this is really important, is where is the server where the dashboards live? In this case, it's up in the cloud in a public server that you can use to test. If you watched the previous video on using the ASP.NET Core server, you learned how to implement that with Visual Studio 2022, and you could be running this against localhost with your own dashboards and your own custom code. The second thing to highlight is the fonts need to be loaded before the dashboard load. So we have an ensure fonts async load. That way the Roboto fonts are used that are part of the SDK and you're not seeing new times Roman like you do on websites that don't load properly. Finally here, we have hard coded sales as the dashboard type. We are telling it to go into the reveal view element. And then finally we are loading the dashboard and that's all there is to it. And if you notice behind the dashboard already rendered, the nice thing about the Reveal SDK is that the client includes all the capabilities that you need for a full self-service dashboard experience. So for example, I can uh, click on individual dashboard widgets. I can do drill downs. I can expand these visualizations. I can change visualization types. I can drill back up. So in this case, we'll drill back up to renewal sales. I can do filters on this data. So all the filters uh, that were created when the dashboard was designed. I can do interesting things like time series forecasts, linear regressions, outlier detection. So all of this is built in. There's nothing extra that you need to do as a developer to enable your users to get all of these features. You also have other items like edit, refresh, export to various file formats and save as. If we go ahead and click edit, you'll see that the dashboard lights up even further. If I click the overflow menu on this visualization, for example, and click the edit button, I am in the dashboard editor. So yes, this is all part of the client SDK. You do not have to write any additional code to allow users to create their own dashboards of any visualization type with a simple drag and drop user experience change different settings like trend lines, access bounds, titles, etc., and save those out in the dashboard itself. You can also do things like rearrange the way the dashboard looks if you don't like the way things are laid out in the default view. So in a few clicks and in a few minutes, you have an entire self-service BI and dashboard experience in an Angular application that really enables your app to deliver data in context when the user needs it. For more videos like this on how to use the Reveal SDK in your applications, click the subscribe button.
Also, check out revealbi.io to learn more about the Reveal SDK and to get the samples and the code snippets for what you saw today, go to github.com forward slash revealbi.